Dear black girl, this is my letter to you to let you know that you are enough as you are. To always walk in your light and shine your light brightly and know that you don't have to dim your light in order to make other people comfortable. And that showing love to other people and other women does not dim your light in the process either. So we are always stronger together. Love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be patient with yourself. And again, remember that you are enough. Love, Rhapsody. I had a best friend at the time. We worked together at Foot Action. And he was like, uh, we had started like this hip hop organization. And he was in a, a group. He was rapping actively. Like he had CDs and albums. I thought that was so dope. I was like, bruh. How you make a whole album? Like, how you do that? Like, I didn't know nothing about it. I'm from Snow Hill, North Carolina. So just, you know, talking to him and opening up to him and, and telling him, like, for the like he's probably the first or only person I told what I really wanted to do. And he just looked at me one day. Um, we were in the studio. I was there watching him record, and he was like, I know you be writing raps, and I know you want to rhyme, so won't you just stop being scared and do it? And that's how I was just like, you write. He was like, we're not going to judge you. We're just having fun. Whatever you want to learn, we're going to help you. And that's how I started. And his name is Charlie Smarts, and he is in the group that I used to be in called Cooley High. Knife was, uh, he took me to see Guru. I think that was our first time meeting. He was like, yo, before you do anything in this business, know who you are and what you want from it and define your line, what you want, will and won't do, because it's going to have to come to a time where you have, you're you going to have to choose and you might have to turn down something big or a whole lot of money, but, you know, your integrity is most important. Um, so for me, I just, first I had to go off and figure out who I was, what I wanted, what my voice was. And, you know, I think just watching everybody around me that I admired, that I wanted to have a legacy and career like, you know, they always stuck to being themselves and they never, ever compromise. And, and that motivated me too. Like it lets me know that I don't have to follow a trend. I don't have to compromise. All money isn't good money. And, you know, just trust in the process, I think, more than anything. Like, you have to have blind faith in it where, you know, it, it just feels right. So you have to, for one, decide what does success mean to you. For some people, it might be, I want to be the most famous person in the world. So until you reach that, then you won't consider yourself successful. For me, success was I wanted to do music for a long time. I wanted to be the best at it, one of the best at it. And I wanted to inspire people. I wanted everything I did to have a purpose. So, you know, if I could do that and I made $20,000 a year, then that's just what it was. You know, I was being successful at what I wanted and the way that I wanted to do it. Um, Hip hop is bigger than a, a box with knobs on it. That's a, that's a quote from Ninth. You can't confine the culture into a box with a knob on it. And once you realize that, then you realize the culture is way bigger than that and and understand the power of putting people with messages on the mainstream. Like, I just want to be somebody that inspired a generation, you know, that opened doors for especially little black girls to be whatever they want to be, however they wanted to be, to speak their truth, to, to understand that they have a place in whatever field of life they want to venture into. You know, if it's music, then, you know, I want to create a table for them open more doors, make it easier for them to walk through. Mama's Gun is my favorite album by Erica, but it's also one of my favorite albums of all time. And Time Wasting is one of my favorite songs from that project. I, I like to ride and listen to that, especially at night. But it's like, it's inspiring to me because to do whatever you want to do, like to be a master at it, you got to put in 10,000 hours, you got to wake up mm -hmm. doing it go to sleep doing it. And whenever, I, you know, I throw that song on, it reminds me like, yo, you got to go hard. Like time is wasting. You don't, you don't have time to, you know, lay around and not do anything. So go do it. Like all we got is time. You might as well use it. So that's like like one of my inspirational songs where I could just, it's super emotional too. It just hit me in a way. But um, yeah, that's, like, that's my soundtrack. They're like, yo, rap, you got to go get it. Like there's nothing stopping you.